morning, afternoon, one or other. Uh, it's Monday, loaded up in Sherburn, uh, pulled out of the site just to make some room for him. And now I'm just waiting on Eddie to come and pick me up to escort me to Hepman Dwight. Catch you in a bit. Hello. Uh, I'm just coming through Clecky and now with the 4 metre load on. Eddie is in front of me, he's going to clear the path and make some space for me. But until then, I'm just going to sit. There's a pat car on me, well, pat van on me right on the yellow lines on the right hand side, so everything's having to come around that and then I can get through. So, this is the second job today. I've had a bit of a wait with this one. Uh, Eddie had to another, do another job first. Idiots. I hate car drivers. Flashing lights in the world mean absolutely nothing. Please, if you are driving around and you see a van with flashing lights on or a truck with flashing lights on, just take a minute and think, why are they on? There'll be a reason. If it also says abnormal load or escort vehicle on it, there's definitely a reason. Sad, that one. Be fine on this one. Down again, you have to wrong side islands as well. Uh, like that one there. There was a park car, a gap, the island, a gap, park car, which would have meant I've had to swerve in, swerve back out around the island. It's just not worth it. It's easier just to wrong side it. only a mile away from destination on this one and back into the building get it lifted off uh, back to the yard pick up a uh, wafer bed trailer uh, go to shore cross load up for Horsham to go tomorrow but <clears throat> we're going tonight tipping in the morning uh, so Eddie's going to escort me down there from uh, Wakefield all the way down to West Sussex uh, with a stopover and a um, house guest tonight and he's sleeping in here with me up on the top bunk unlike Danny he won't sleep in the van and I don't blame him neither I won't sleep in the van neither across seats Up to that's what we're doing so far this week. Uh, Wednesday, I'm taking that scrap back down to the scrapyard, and other than that, I don't know. So, I will come back to you later. I'm hoping you can see some stuff in that out of that window when I go around corners and stuff. I think you should be able to, but yeah, I'll um, catch you in a bit.
morning, half past three, Tuesday. Didn't get as far as we wanted to last night. Uh, due to curfews and hours. So, I'm only at Woolly Edge. Continuing to load at Junction 40. Really didn't get far. Eddie's meeting me here shortly. He nipped back home last night to save having to sleep in cab with me. So let's get this, get some extra lights on this and then when he's ready he'll be here for four o'clock. Once he's ready we can get going. Catch you in a bit. I was going to record doing this but it's a bit dark and I don't think you can see much and my lights aren't working so yeah I'll catch you in a bit well this is us for the next couple of hours called into Toddington Services to set out the embargo Set off at half past three this morning from Woolall, uh, from Woolly, Woolly Edge down to Toddington. It took us about three hours to get here. And uh, now we've got to sit and wait. till 9 o'clock then we can set off again go around the M25 to the M23 uh, and then cut across to Horsham not a bad route it's motorway most of the way and I think from what I saw it's either a good A road or dual carriageway pretty much all the way in Little bonus thing I did for them because the binder handles have got a bit of movement in them. Just put a strap sleeve on them just to hold them, just so they don't metal don't hit the market. Put it on this one as well. So that chain is holding it forwards and pulling in from the sides let's go have a look at Eddie he's fast asleep in the van he don't like getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning I'm not, not going to wake him up oh isn't he cute <laughs> I really wish people wouldn't park in the abnormal parking area in the services it really annoyed me because now I'm sticking out beyond where I want to be I am going to move forward once he goes he's just gone into the services now ideally I would have preferred to be over there out the way as this top curb looks a bit high from for what I've actually got on I'm hoping I've got enough room in fact yeah I'm gonna stay where I'll, I'll move forward a bit but stay to the back and then just reverse backwards and drive out up the road I'm not going past that I ain't got enough ground, cl ground clearance or turning area to get I want to get one to get out of it I'm not sure if I've already to told you but the the kiosk enclosure 60, uh, 12 meters long plus I've got let's have a look one, two, three four meters of neck that's six that's, uh, that's 16 meters get 
plus one, two, three, that's 90 meters of trailer currently. Yeah, so that is a fair old whack. Todd's obviously got rear steer. Twin, twin wheel rear steer. Uh, fully remote. All of the all, I've shown you, you already seen bits of hydraulics in, in action to get, get us out of that site yesterday. And I believe the site we're going to is even worse. So I'll see what, what I can record, but it's, it is a wastewater treatment works, so it might not be a lot. But I will come back to you later on, either with some delivery footage or just to let you know how it went. So I'll catch you in a bit. I still think that one was easier than the one I did last week at uh, London to Dunfoot. Yeah. That was my phone. Eh? That was my phone. Ah. Squeaky toy. Yeah. Text message. Fuck's sake. Yes. put your van there then. Yeah, that's it. Just it down there. Well, my mind, my mind, I'm gone for that. The rip top fucking bumper. Evening, parked up in Nottingham. 
14 hours 50 minutes we'll round that up to 15 a uh, bit over nine hours driving so got a bit of the lift got a bit of the access route I didn't get the actual drive up reversing we did get the video of the route into it which I had to do in reverse down that slope manipulating the trailer the steering the suspension everything to get it down took a while grounded out a few times but was readjusted and all in all it was a really really good job went really well no damage straight into place everything's all good uh, so tomorrow my jobs have changed I've now got to get back to the yard for six drop my trailer jump in with someone else go out pick up one of the wagons um, run that for a day and then bring it back and I'll be back in mine on Thursday we're not going to go into what's happened but it's not great so yeah just waiting for some tea to arrive so I can have something to eat and then it's bedtime because I got up at 3 this morning so I'm hoping you're enjoying everything so far uh, I am working the Moffat tomorrow so hopefully I'll get if I, can, if I can take my cameras with me I will do well I'm going to take cameras with me if I can get them mounted on the Moffat I'll do that and get it, some video for that it's not often I get the Moffat um, so have a good night I'll catch you in a bit To 900 feet, cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. After 600 feet, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A3.
welcome to Friday. Now you've not actually seen anything from me since Tuesday. Um, and that's not really going to change now either. Uh, I've just tipped in Guildford and I've got a straight run back up to the yard. That's it. So I do apologise. Slow traffic um, on M25. Traffic jam ahead between Heron Lake Road and Palmer's Mall Lane. Three minutes delay. This week's been a bit manic. Uh, I've not been home yet this week, which is very, very rare for me to do two nights out a week, let alone four. So, yeah. It's just been chasing me backside all week long. Obviously we didn't get as far as we wanted to with that enclosure. The access down to the site, I did a little video when we drove around it in the van. Oh, once we brought the van round where we're working, I had to reverse all of that route with Daz steering the trailer, Eddie manipulating the suspension to get round that 90 degree bend. Well, technically, they had to steer me through the gate first, turned right out from the gate into that area where we started in the van then back me out of there up that short section and then down that really steep right hand bend avoiding the overhead pipes and the height warning uh, try not to let it lean over too far so we have to manipulate suspension to keep the load as vertical as possible but as you obviously you can tell we did we did all that we got it lifted off got the trailer closed up back out and got most of the way home the M3 to the 25 to the M1 or to the M40 and then M1 eventually the head back up I'm in no great rush got two and a half hours before I need a break and then uh, just do the rest of, rest, of, rest of the journey up as yet there's nothing on my phone just to pick up Oh shit! That one was all of me, I was not paying attention at all. Poor little language. Luckily it wasn't a boy of this, it was an old lad. And he was on it. How I missed it. Anyway, I'm going to cut you loose for the week. I hope you've enjoyed the little bit that this week is, uh, and I'll come back to you next week. Catch you later.